That's great. So I think, honestly, we've seen some really meaningful results by doing this and, and love to see what uh, First Insight has seen. So I'll hand it over to you, Gretchen. Thank you very much, Sonia. Um, I wanted to also mention at this point that um, anyone who has questions is welcome to submit those via the chat um, box in the platform. And we'll then uh, go through those and, and attempt to answer them at the end. So it's clear from what Sonia has presented that getting the right products to market faster is absolutely mission critical in today's retail environment. That's exactly what First Insight helps our customers to do. And we are, in fact, often a, a key enabler of the change programs that companies like Alex Partners recommend to their clients and help them implement. So I'd like to take a few minutes now to give you an understanding of the First Insight platform. And then Karen Pinney of Rue 21 will share specifics around how they've been using First Insight to become both faster and more accurate. So Sonia did a really great job of describing the challenges facing retail today and those misalignments between the current retail practices and, and today's consumers and their expectations. Some retailers, though, are achieving success, and Kohl's is one example. This is from a report from Cohen, one of the leading analyst firms, and it was written by Oliver Chen, who actually covers Kohl's. He states that retail is about having the right products at the right time and place. Um, he also attributes some of Cole's success to their test, read, and react product strategy, which he views as a competitive advantage for Cole's. And Cohen has recently placed a new outperform rating on Cole's, partly in result of this. So where does First Insight fit into this mix? Um, First Insight is the industry's leading customer-centric merchandising platform. So um, what is that? It's our platform for bringing the voice of the customer into your merchandising processes to really help you to design and select the right products, price them correctly based on what your customers are willing to pay, and then buy them in the right quantities. There are a variety of benefits that come out of this, including increased sales and margins and uh, reduced markdowns and inventory costs. And we'll get into some more detail about that. So, you know, what we're typically seeing um, out in the market as we talk with retailers and brands um, is something like this. Retailers are looking at a number of different uh, data sources that range from historical sales data to, you know, in the case of merchants in particular, there's, there's a certain amount of, of gut intuition that comes into play. Um, a variety of functional roles are trying to make sense of those different data streams in order to make decisions that are critical to the business around selecting and planning, pricing, and marketing um, their products. And you know, this is obviously um, fairly complicated, and the results aren't necessarily um, what, what people would always hope. Um, for example, you know, Gartner has published that success rates of new products are typically in the 30 to 40 percent range, and as Karen will tell you later, uh, uh, in the case of Rue 21, a very low percentage of their in-store tested product was actually rebought. Um, all of this can, you know, relate to high markdowns um, on product that wasn't. Um, appropriately priced or wasn't the right product to have placed in the store in the first place. On the flip side, if companies don't effectively identify products that will be big winners, um, then they can run into a situation of stocking out very quickly on, on a product and leaving lots of revenue and margin on the table. Um, and that also is the case in underpricing or overpricing products. Um, so essentially we're seeing suboptimal decision-making uh, coming out of a lot of these processes, despite really great efforts by um, the, the people in these teams. And so where First Insight comes in is introducing the voice of the customer into these decisions. And so 
between the voice of the customer and our predictive analytics platform, we're creating a new uh, data stream that is essentially pulling directly from consumer feedback about new products. And we create and introduce you know, this new data stream into these processes to inform product selection, pricing, um, and buying decisions. And we'll show you in a few minutes in more detail how that actually works. So the first Insight platform is uh, a modular platform consisting of four key modules, um, Insight Selection, Pricing, Planning, and Targeted Marketing. It's powered by an analytics engine that leverages all these aggregated data sources that you see on the left, um, as well as our own real-time consumer feedback. First Insight's been doing this for 11 years um, with over 100 customers, and so we're using AI and machine learning to make our system continually better and more accurate, um, and that's this analytics engine that you see here. And so what are the typical benefits that we see out of this? Um, on the merchandising front, for example, uh, a national jewelry chain has reported publicly a 100% improvement in their new product success rate. Um, typical ranges are, are at least in that 30 to 80% range. Uh, in terms of inventory reduction, a, a large footwear company we work with has seen a 20% reduction in their overall inventories. Uh, from making better decisions. Increasing conversion rates, you'll be hearing um, some more from Rue 21 about this. Um, they've already generated $650,000 in incremental online sales over the course of six months through converting engaged customers. And, and additionally, this was 12,000 additional consumers uh, driven to their website. Vineyard Vines has validated the ROI of First Insight through measuring um, a direct increase in online conversions and full price sales. And on the Consumer Insights front, the data are available fast. Um, we're talking within 24 to 48 hours and often even faster. Comparing that to market research, which can take you know, at least a month or two, um, or in-store testing, as Karen will share, which is a multi-month process, um, the data are available a lot more quickly, driving decisions more quickly. So, you know, this is essentially why uh, so many companies across geographies and categories, large and small, in wholesale and retail are working with First Insight to get the right products to market faster. So let's dive into the platform and, and how it actually works. Um, so the first step is to engage with consumers via um, email or via social media, as you'll hear more about that from Karen. And um, in many cases, increasingly this is happening on mobile devices, um, upwards of 70% and growing of consumers are um, receiving this contact and playing through this game on a mobile device. And so, you know, this is essentially reaching out to, you know, in this case, um, engaged consumers who are RE21 uh, customers or target customers and, you know, asking them for their input about the product. So this is a branded experience. It looks and feels like it's coming from, in this case, RE21 because, in fact, this email or Instagram outreach is coming from the company. When a consumer, though, clicks where it says start game, um, they actually will be taken over to the First Insight portal to play through that experience. Um, but as far as they know, this is still an engagement directly with this brand or this retailer. And so as a first step, uh, consumers are, are asked a few questions, and these are completely tailorable by the retailer or brand. And uh, so again, Karen will tell you more about how they've been leveraging this information to really increase their depth of understanding of their customers. Um, we see wholesalers using this. Uh, for example, they might ask a question, where do you generally buy your shoes? And they could list uh, a listing of retailers from you know, Nordstrom to Target to Walmart, whatever. And then they are able to segment the data on the back end of this test to understand where the respondents are purchasing their shoes in this case. 
and they can then feed back to their retail partners, okay, here's what consumers who are buying in your channel say about these products, and this is why we're recommending this assortment at these prices for you. Next, the consumers see a series of new products um, that they wish to test and on which they want to get input. And the key things that are, are requested here are uh, comments about what do you think somebody would pay, in this case, for this dress? And that's the slider bar that you see in the middle. And then they're also asked, do you love it or do you hate it? And that's the, the sentiment um, that's shared about the product. And importantly, there's also an opportunity to give direct feedback and, and open field comments about these products. And those are extremely useful to merchants and particularly designers as they are trying to understand why a product tested the way it did. If it did better or worse than it in particular, they can really understand what the drivers were by looking at repeated comments about the product. And so once these data are collected around um, what people said that they think people would pay for a product in the market and uh, the sentiment data of love it, hate it, or somewhere in between. We then apply our algorithm to the data um, and are able to provide for each of the products tested a value score. And this value score is predictive of that product's future performance in the market. And Karen will talk some more about how they've been leveraging this information, um, but essentially across time, across geographies, across categories, across retail and wholesale, the value scores have been predictive of product performance once they actually go to market, um, with tens being the best and ones being the worst. And so overall, you know, this creates a, a winning equation by combining the voice of the customer with predictive analytics, um, getting to market faster, and you know that is a key ingredient, that equation, to success of new products. So trying to pull this all together in terms of you know, why companies are picking to work with First Insight. So the value has really been proven um, over time and in a number of different ways with over well over 100 customers. Um, we help with getting our customers' teams trained um, and supporting their adoption of the solution. And, and again, Karen will give you more information about this from a Route 21 perspective. We have the ability to track the decisions that are made using the tool and the value that's driven from those. And, and that's really important for understanding um, what you're getting from the implementation of a tool. In terms of the technology, um, we're leveraging, as I said, machine learning and um, AI. Speed is really key, and you're trying to take time out of your processes. So the ability to get results in 24 to 48 hours or even faster is really important. Um, Gartner has included First Insight in their hype cycle for retail technologies for the past six years in a category that they actually call customer-centric merchandising, which is really what we're talking about today. Um, the platform really is easy to use and, and to integrate. A, a lot of our customers start small, um, particularly focusing product, on product selection, and then expand from there. Um, we're able to integrate with, with PLM systems, and we're actively doing that to pull the information that's needed for running tests into our platform and then re-exporting the results back into the PLM system. Downstream, uh, we can integrate with your planning and pricing systems for a seamless end-to-end -end merchandising process. Uh, the solution is, is global. We're operating in 30 countries and 20 languages. And uh, we also have a mobile platform for your merchants to be able to use on the go. And it works the way your merchants work, which is fast and, and constantly moving. So you know, these are some of the key reasons that, that companies have been adopting the First Insight platform.